Jeez. We're going to talk to you about the cell theory. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Tiffany G. I will be doing the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know anything about advanced biology? No, nah, man, I don't know nothing about biology. Are you kidding me, man? No, nah, man. We're going to teach you about some biology up in here. We're going to do a cell theory rap just for you. Yeah. Listen close to the story I tell. It's a rapping story of the living cell. It's a happy tune, it's sort of terror. But it's a real tough topic to call the cell theory. All animals, plants, and protists too are made of cells with different jobs to do. They're the basic units of all organisms. And I hope by now you've got the rhythm. It all started with one dude named Hook. <laughs> He caused the scope and took his time because the cell is smaller than a thin of a dime. Say one, two, three, four. Are you ready to learn some more? The animal cell has many parts and you must know each one by heart. Like the farmer, man, in the Dell, the nucleus controls the cell. It gives the orders kind of like a brain and it's protected by a nuclear membrane. Around the cell you'll find another skin. The cellular me membrane holds the whole cell in. But its job isn't simple, there's no doubt. It, some particles go in and some go out. Now please don't lose your science enthusiasm. Listen to the story of the cytoplasm. All around the cell's thick fluid goes, but in the nucleus, it will not go not too well. And don't forget those R to the I to the B to the O to the S to the O to the M to the E to the S ribosomes. This is where proteins come from. Protein factories are so small, you'll agree. <laughs> you need an electric microscope to see. Just when you thought you weren't having any fun, along comes the endoplasmic reptilium. <laughs> These tube-like structures serve as a tract to carry stuff to the membrane and back. Now, have you ever seen a donut without a hole? In a cell, they're called vacuoles. They're filled with stuff like H2O, and they carry food so cells can grow. Last of all, but not the very least, mitochondria, mighty cellular beasts, since they turn sugars into energy. So, well, we call them the powerhouse of the cell. Now, my friend, you know it well, the unforgettable story of a living cell. You're gonna be like, recording. Why did I get that? And don't forget 